Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're having a really good day so far. I kind of thought we could do this fun Valentine's Day craft. It's a cute little dog house. I can't believe how adorable it is. Looks like we get it decorated and they even give us some dogs too. I just thought this was the cutest thing ever. So let's take a look what they're gonna give us. You can see some of the parts here of the house. We're gonna get to punch out some of these wood pieces. That'll be really fun. And here's like the shingles and everything else to kind of decorate the house with. So let's get into it. First thing we'll need is scissors. Need to cut open this seal right here. It's going to snip, snip, snip. So now we're just going to open it. Just like this. We don't want everything to fall out all at once. So we got to be really careful. Just opening it up. Pulling everything out. Okay. So here's the instructions. This is everything that it comes with. Kind of shows you what to do here. So we can just loosely follow this and put our own creative spin on it. So now it's time to see what they gave us. Feel the stickiness, just pulling it open. Okay, it's open. Let's pull some of the pieces out. Okay, so these pieces look like some of the house pieces. Is here some of the shingles and on the other side are the cute dogs look I can't even believe we've got like a Dalmatian and a poodle even are you seeing this a hamster riding the dog that is so cute okay let's see what else we got so for decorations looks like got this red, these are red hearts, you can't even really see, but they're red hearts. And then here, we've got the red bone, that's so important. And we've got a big pink heart, and I don't know, what do you think that is, like an arch for the doorway maybe? Yeah. These are a bunch of little mini bones. I don't know if you can see that, but these are the mini bones. Cute that they did it in white. We've got, these are some of the shingles here. Let's see what else. So these are some more arches and heart shapes. I don't really know what the plan is for these yet, but we'll figure it out. And then finally, we have some of these wooden pieces. These look like they're going to build our cute little Valentine's doggy house. A couple more. Some little pom-poms. Look how cute those are. Some I Love Yous here. So important. Can't forget the gemstones. And then finally is this little bit of glue here. So that's what we'll be working with today. So firstly, I think we need to assemble the house and then we can start decorating it. So I kind of just like to wing it. 
And then if we get lost, we can always double check the instructions. Okay, here's the bottom piece. I really like this wood. It's like the craft balsa wood that's like really light. And then here looks like maybe a roof piece. Some of the shingles. Just pulling those out. And I'm not sure where this one's going to go, but let's pop it out of the frame. That was easy. And we also had this frame. Looks like another same piece as this one. So I'm just going to pop that one out. Just really carefully so I don't get any splinters. And it looks like it already fell out. But this was the other shingle piece too. Okay. So let's take, I think this is going to be the back, right, I imagine, so that there's no back door. And if that's the back, this has got to be the front. So I think it's going to go kind of something like this. Let's see if we can attach it to the floor. I think this is the floor. And we're just going to take this piece little attachments right on the edges that we're going to plug into these holes. So just gently lining them up, pressing them in, just like that. Okay, I want to make sure they stay so this doesn't fall apart, so I'm just going to really, really press until it's nice and sturdy, just like that. And then here's the back. So, I think it should go heart facing out. What do you think? You think heart facing out? Okay. So I'll just slide that into place. Same thing here, just pressing it onto the base until it makes a nice snug fit. Okay, there's our house so far. Got a few of the walls on here. Now, I think maybe those square shapes from before, these guys. My guess is these are gonna be the side walls here. Because there's a perfect little opening in these little sides that I think these will slot right into. So let's go ahead and just put one on. Just like that. I'm going to press it into the bottom first. There we go. And now we just need to line up the sides here. So just really carefully. We don't want to break it. Oh, there it goes. And a little on this side too. Let's see if we can get it. Pretty much a perfect fit there. That's great. Let's see if we can get the other side on now, this side. So I'll just take that same identical piece here and just press it right in. Okay, and then the same thing here. We just need to line it up and click it into place. Now that we've got all four sides on, I think we should put on the roof to kind of keep it all together. So let's take our roof pieces. We've got two roof pieces, and I think they're just going to go straight on just like that. So let's start with this one. We're just going to line up the holes. Let's just like this. Okay, and then we need to press.
press it on. So I'm just going to push it in until it's pretty much secure. Okay, there we go. And now we need our last shovel. So I'm just going to, there we go, line it up. Looks like this side's just not going on all the way. So I'm going to really press down. There we go. Okay. Now our house is secure for the most part. It's time to decorate it. That's the most exciting part. So, I remember there were quite a few arches, so I think we can put an arch right here. Let's see, we have this pink arch, and maybe a slightly different color pink arch. Let's punch them out so you can see them. So we've got this one, just pulling it out of the frame like this. Okay. And you can see there's also a little part right here. So we have that as well. And let's put this to this side. So here's one of the arches. Can I balance it here? Let's see. Perfect. Okay, and let's pop out the other arch. I think it's gonna come just right out here. There we go. Okay. All right. So we've got this arch, and we've got this arch. They look like maybe this one's thicker. Can you see how this one's a little thicker? So let's put this one on underneath. All I'm going to do is take off the sticker here, just peel it away from the backing, just like this. Oh, little piece ripped. No worries, we'll just finish the job. And let's see. So it needs to to kind of line up with this outline here. I'm just gently laying it around just like this. Pressing it firmly on there with that sticky backing. That went on really, really smooth. I'm actually really surprised. So now we need to take the sticker off of the smaller one. Same thing here, just separate the sticker from the backing like that, okay. Kind of sticks to your fingers, but that's okay. So now, you can tell right in the middle, need to be a little bit accurate here. I'm just going to press this one on right in the center of the other one. Just going really slow to make sure I'm sticking it in the exact right place. I'm fixing it if I make any mistakes. Okay. For whatever reason, it's just, it's just a little bit too long, so take my scissors and cut it to size. I think that should do it. So now we have our two different pink borders. Okay, let's see what else we can decorate. I'm seeing these hearts, I'm kind of thinking maybe they go in the back here. What do you think? Gonna punch out all the hearts so you can see everything we're working with. This looks like the biggest heart to me. Because 
we've certainly got lots of little hearts here. But let me see if this fits. Looks like there could be one more heart, maybe. But I'm not really sure. I think the next heart here is this red one. So let's just punch it out. Just like this. Perfect. So now we've got red, light pink, dark pink. It looks pretty cute. Okay, so let's put the biggest one on on the back first. Just going to peel this off. I love that sound so much. I don't want it to stick to my hands too much, but let's try and line up the bottom of this heart. So it lays perfectly. Just pressing it on. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is already coming to life. So I think next we want this light pink heart. Putting the back off here, peeling it away, and pressing it on. So this one's a little harder to see where the center is, but I think that's just about perfect. So you can see the border of the dark pink heart behind the light pink heart. And then we can put this red heart on, on top. Need to take this backing off. Just getting it all in one clean slide. And then trying to get this one perfectly centered. Okay. Now we have all three on there. It looks so good. It's kind of giving like Powerpuff Girls, you know? Okay. So, we've got a few other shapes here. Maybe we should punch out all of the shapes first. I'm sure the instructions would tell us what to do. But who needs instructions? So, we've got a bunch of these tiny little hearts here. Let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five little hearts that we can just punch out. Just go like this. There's another little one. Can you see how small that is? Super cute. And a couple more. That's three, and this will be four right here. There's four, and finally five is right here. Some of these smaller ones are a little harder to punch out, but that's okay. We're still doing it. And then there's even some micro, micro, micro hearts here. Oh my gosh. It's so tiny. It flew right out of my hand. Can you see that? That's itty bitty. I have to make sure not to lose those. Okay. Bitty heart number two. And there's even some. I'm not sure what shape this is. Maybe you can help me. What is this? It's like a fish or. 
I don't know. But let's pop them out so we can find out. Okay, random fish shape number two. So it looks like all of this stencil. This is the bone one, remember? So, oh, those are coming out much, much easier. Yep, just easily popping out. We've got four total, so that was two, three, and four. Look at that, came right out. And then next, we've got all of these little glittery ones. Looks like we've got some more interesting shapes here. These ones don't look like they want to pop out as much. But let's see if we can get them to. Anyway. Okay. Maybe these are like little bows or something. I've got two of those. Just pulling out the little legs here of the ribbon. Trying not to rip it at all. There we go, managed to get that second one off. And now we have these little hearts here. Some of those come out pretty easily. Same size as the red hearts. So I've got one, there's two. We can get three here. There's one kind of like deformed heart missing the break right there. There's another heart. That's four so far. And here's the last one, five right there. Okay, so the rest of these are the shingles. I think we can start adding some of those now. So let's add, I'm going to take the sticky back of each one. Let's add one right here onto the house. Just lining it up. Pressing it down, that looks so cute. Now we grab another little shingle here. Let's see. This one will peel right off of the paper there. And let's try every other for now. So I'm just going to press that right there. And let's do a third one. There's our third one. We're going to put it on the edge here, just like that. Okay, look at that. I love that. Okay, let's do like three, three, two, three. Let's try that. I'm going to pop off another shingle and place it just right below. Oh, those other ones. Okay, see that three? And then we'll do two. We will have enough shingles to put a couple on every side. So just pulling out this next shingle and placing it just like that. So then we've got another row of three again. There we go. And we'll go one, two, three. Grab another one. And one, two. Okay, we've got one more left. And here's the third one. That looks so nice. I wish my roof looked like that. The other side real quick. Just 
popping them out, following that same pattern of three, two, three. Seems to be the perfect amount for the shingles we have. Okay, one more on this top row, and three, just like that. Now that's followed by two. how this is coming together. It's like a, like a Valentine's Day gingerbread house almost. So just putting that here. Putting this here. Last shingle. So I'm just gonna pull it out and place it on. That was really fast. We did the whole shingles. The roof's looking absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a look at the instructions now and see what they want us to do next. Okay, so it looks like add the arches. Oh yeah, we can add the red bone just here. They want us to hang it right above. Do you think that's a good spot for it? Yeah, okay. So, same thing. Peeling off the backing. And they have it curved down, actually, like this. I think that does look better. So, we're just going to place it in the center. Just like that. Now it's looking more like a doghouse. And then we put the arches on. So now they say we can put little red hearts where these hearts are. So I'll take a couple of those little micro hearts and just pop one right over top. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll take a little pink heart and I'll put it on this side. So we've got a red heart and a pink heart. The instructions say to put bones here. I don't know, what do you think? Kinda looks like clouds here. I feel like maybe the bones would look cuter up here. Let's do that. So we're gonna take this tiny, cute, sparkly bone and peel off the backing from the foam sticker, just like that. And now I'm gonna add one here, looks cuter. And I'll add one right on the other side so that it's even. Okay, adding the other one right over here. Can you see our cute little bones now? Here's an important little detail. We need to add in that I woof you right above on the bone. So I'm gonna take those out of this package, leaving all of the pom poms in there so we don't lose them. I know we'll need them for later. And then here you can see it says woof right there. So I'm just going to carefully punch these out. Really don't want these little ones to rip. There's the W. And the I is right here. Jeez, that's like a grain of rice. Somehow I have to take the backing off of this. There we go. And we'll add the eye right at the edge of the bone. So there's our eye. Then we can take our W here, peeling off the itty bitty back. And just putting the W right there. 
Now we take one of the O's and pop out this itty bitty microscopic little center and then peel off the little backing also. There's our O. We're going to try to stick it right next to the W. There we go. And now the second O comes out and the little center gets pulled out like that. Take off the back like that so we have our second little O and put it right next to that one which says I woo so we need that F pulling it out this is such delicate work I need like tweezers or something there's the little tiny F and we're just gonna put it at the end of woof And now all we're missing is the U. Okay. There we go. I feel like a surgeon. Uh-oh. It's stuck to itself. Let's see if we can fix that. Okay. Have to be careful of that. Let's gently put the U right there. Oh my gosh, I'm so loving this. This is one of the cutest Valentine's Day crafts I think I've ever seen. Let's see, so we put the woof on. Okay, so now it wants us to kind of bedazzle things with some of these gemstones. So let's open that up. Pull out the rhinestones. Okay. Now sometimes the sticky back is enough and sometimes it isn't. So let's just start placing them around. It's enough, okay. So just grab these one at a time. Very gently. Just like this. Got one and two up here. I don't know how many to do, but I kind of just want to go crazy with it. So let's add there and try to pull it off. There we go. Add one up here. I like all the different pinks they have going on. Kind of boring if it's just all one color. And one up here. So we put a few down here too. Okay. Let's grab it really carefully, just like that. Put one here and one on the other side to make it symmetrical. Just carefully peeling these up. And placing them down. Okay, it's looking like the front's done, but the sides are still a little barren. So let's take some of these little hearts we have and we'll add them on there. Okay, so we've got the pink heart. We're going to line it up just like that. That looks so cute. Now the red one. Just like that. Okay, and let's put a few of these gemstones on there too. Just to kind of snazz it up a little bit. Just dotting them. Dotting one here. Putting one here. I think three is enough. Let's leave it at three and we can always add more. 
So now we're gonna do this side. Let's do another red and pink. I just love how they look together. So I'm gonna take it off and just add it. One like that. And the other one on the other some gemstones, just like we did on the other side. One here, and we'll add one here, and maybe one like right over here somewhere. Okay, somewhere like about there. Okay, so now we need to add a couple more things to the back start with the hearts. We've got just enough hearts left. We've got two pink ones and two red ones left. So I'm just going to add them. One like that. And let's put the other pink one on the other side. So one down here. Okay. And now we have Second red one. Oh, here we go. We've got two red ones left. So let's peel their backing and get them stuck on. Just like that. And the last heart of this size, we're going to put it right here. And let's add a few gemstones while we're here. So I'm just peeling this off. this off here, peeling it off, peeling it off, okay that looks pretty good for now, let's make sure the instructions don't need us to use too many of these because I don't want to go crazy and then need them later. Okay, so we did that. We did the front. We've done the heart. We've done the back. Okay. Once we get it all put together. Yep. Okay, so we are missing one thing. And that's from this little dog cutout. We need these right here. This one too. And these, this makes so much sense. These go right up top. You can see there's some little pegs for that to go into. So I'm just going to try to click is on just like this. It's a little bit of gentle pressure there. A little bit over here. There we go. And then same story on the back. So we just take this. stubborn, but we'll get it. There we go. Okay. That looks so good already. So I think we need to take, we've got these foam bits here, and I think those are going to line. What are those, like the gutters, the shutters? I don't really know what that part is called. Either way, we're just going to remove the backing from it. One perfect peel. And 
then let's take our house, try to center it just like this, and then press it down. And just press it right along here. Okay, and then again, same thing with the back. Have this second little thing here. We're going to try to pop it out without getting too tangled up. Okay. And then we got to peel off the back. One perfect peel again. Yes. Okay. Just lining up the very top. Adjusting and pulling it down over the edges. Okay, pretty good. So now we can line these with the gemstones. I'm really glad I didn't go crazy so that we had enough. So I'm just going to try to keep them centered. Off the dot, placing it down, taking off the dot, and placing it down. Come on, taking up the dot, putting it right in the middle there. Another one. Let's try and get it. Perfect. And we can try and do a few on the back side just like that as well. So we'll put one on the edge and another one on the same on the opposite side. Right over here. Perfect. And of course one at the top. Right about there. And one kind of in the middle of those. Just like that. And one right here. Okay, that's looking really great. So we can put these little bones. We can put them on the sides right here where there's kind of some empty space. That way you'll know it's a doghouse from all sides. Feeling that, placing the bone right about there, and we'll do the same thing on this side. Just taking the sticker, peeling it off, and placing it right about there. So the only thing we have left to do now is add pom-poms here and do the dogs. Let's do some of the pom-poms first. So the instructions say that we need the big ones for the poodle. So I take those out and set them all aside. And then these little ones we use in combination with the glue to stick them onto the roof. So I'm just going to start with a little bit of glue. Just applying a little bit. So we've got dots of glue there. Now let's take our pom poms and just apply them. We're going to alternate red, pink, red, pink. So there's a red one. Here's a little pink one here. Another little red one. Just using the glue to Hold it in place. Now we have another pink one. Putting it on just like that. And then a red one. Okay, we have all five. Those are like little gumdrops. This is unbelievably cute. So now same thing. We're just going to take the glue. Put a little drop 
right around each hole. Try not to make too big of a mess. And then this time we're going to go red, pink, red, pink. So we put red there. And then a pink one like that. And now red one here. This is the last pink one. We'll just put it right here. And the last red one. Okay, so there's both of our sides. I don't know if you think this is the cutest thing ever, but I'm legitimately in love with this. So now when we let that dry, I think we should take some of the dogs and see if we can put them together. So we're just gonna pop out the dog. There's some legs. Looks like another pair of legs here. Just gently working them out. We don't break them or get any splinters. I've got some little feet down here. A couple more pairs of little feet. And then we have, looks like these are going to be the poodle's feet. And the poodle's front feet. There we go. And now the dog bodies themselves. Take off the Dalmatian there. The poodle. And now the little dachshund with the hamster. I'm not even kidding. This is my favorite, favorite one. So I think the dachshund's gonna get the little tiny legs. That makes sense. So just pressing the pieces together. There's his back legs. And now his front legs. And I finally get what these were. They're the little bandana piece here. So let's put those on real quick. You gotta admit though, it does kind of look like a fish. But I can see how it's supposed to be the bandana. So we're just going to put the little fish tail like that. Pull the bandana around to the front. And then he's got two sides, so we need the two pieces. Just taking that. And same exact thing on this side. Line up the little fish tail. And the rest of the band-aid falls into place. Okay. So I've got one little dachshund dog with his little hamster friend there. And then next we've got the Dalmatian. So he's got the spotted legs. And I don't know if you can see this, but all of his spots are just little hearts. That would be so cool to have a Valentine's Day Dalmatian like that. So there's his little feet. And this one gets this weird bow shape we were looking at before. So let's try Line this up. Looks like it goes on this side. There's the collar bit. And just bringing it right down to line up like that. Same thing, he's got two sides and we've got two bows. So we're just going to peel off the backing in two very unsatisfying pieces. And without letting it get stuck too much to my finger, I'm just going to place the bow down and its little ribbons too. So there's our cute little Dalmatian, little Valentine's Dalmatian. And the last one for the poodle. We've got to figure out how to put these things into the little holes. It's almost like the little poodle puff, you know? But I'm not sure how to do it. The instructions, of course, make it look way too easy. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that worked. And now for her legs, too. Also have holes for these puff balls. Just trying to pull them through. There we go. 
go. That's one. And now one over here. And this one's not going as quite as easily. The trick is to kind of mash it in there and maybe kind of spin it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so he's got two little poodle poofs on his feet. So let's go ahead and add those on. Just sliding them together. Perfect, like that. And then the last pair of legs here. Just twisting it in. Kind of pulling it through. And then the last ones here. There's our second pair of poodle legs. So we're just going to that right on just like that so now we can take those little mini micro hearts and actually put it on her tail right there so just trying to line it up just like that and the other side goes just like this so now she's got her little sparkly hard tail and these bows didn't exactly come out in one piece, but we can still try and add them and see if they look good. You can kind of see down there where it ripped a little bit, but that's all right. Dogs can have ripped bows. I don't think they mind too much. So we'll just put one like that side. At least they both ripped in the exact same weird way. So at least it'll be even. And then there's the other side. So now that we have all of our dogs, we can put them into the doghouse. Just add them in. The little hamster riding dogs in. Okay, so we have all of our puppy friends in their cute little Valentine's house. I love this so much. I'm gonna keep it so I can look at it every single day because it is absolutely adorable. I hope you really enjoyed making it with me too. 360 view here. Got the cool hearts on the back and the sides here. But my favorite has to be the front with the I woof you. That's just so adorable. Okay, well, I'll let you get on with your Valentine's. I hope you have something really special planned so you can give yourself some self love or someone special some love. Yeah, of course, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.